Hey everyone, it's Ebro and Laura Styles. Hi. Rosenberg is on assignment currently at the Super Bowl. We have Zoe Dollars here. How you doing, North bro? Beach, Miami zone. Yeah. Yay. How you doing, North son? Miami Beach, Alapata. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it up for Zoe. Welcome, Zoe. <laughs> uh, not only that, but his his song blow a check. A lot of people did remixes. Um, big up Dave East in Harlem. He jumped mm -hmm. on a version. Um, but here recently, uh, I guess two days ago now, young Zoe got a Diddy French Montana look. Yeah. How did that come about? Um, it happened in Miami during the Revolt Music Conference. The Zos was putting pressure on them. The Zos was nah, out like, yo, y'all got to do that. Y'all be in Miami too much. Y'all got to give our dude a look. Organically, they just yeah, was okay. rocking with it. And then I got mutual friends with them. You yeah. know, I got Zoe, which is part of Coke Boys. And then I got DJ Golden Boy, which is a good friend of mine. And he's yeah. part of my management. So, All right. So you Coke Boys together. affiliated too. Yes, yeah, my homies. Yeah. It's family. Yeah. How long you been rhyming, man? Man, I've been... Rhyming since I was like 10, 11 years old. This was what you always wanted to do. Yeah. What, what? Aside from being wanting to be a pilot, that was my first dream. Oh, word. Yeah. I respect that. That's you interesting. Know, I'd like to point this out too, Lord Styles. Yes. He came in very professional into this interview. He, he told his compadres uh -huh. to turn their phones off. Yeah, that was very nice. Yeah. You're a professional. I try to be as much as I should be. <laughs> it gets you respected. It does, right? Yeah. It gets you a long way too. Yeah, definitely. How's your handshake? Do you have a nice firm handshake? Because it's very important. Um, Depends if if it's if it's my homie, it's like what's up, homie. But if somebody like if it's you business, know, you go yeah, for the definitely. Don't ever give anybody that dead fish. <sighs> you know, but, I like when you shake a young lady's exactly. hand, right? She gives you the the nice yeah, uh, that's what I was about the to nice say. hand. You know, so that, it's the dead fish is Laura for no one. shakes your hand like she's your dad. <laughs> Or she's well, mad when, aggressive. When you shake somebody's hand, you better shake their hand like you mean it. My hands is already kind of rough, so and then you're you're a woman. Yeah, um, well, I don't want you to break my hand, but I'm just saying like, a nice firm handshake like hard you mean going, it. Like, like no. you know what I'm saying, like Laura, give him the there grip. Go. Laura there got that go. grip, right? There you go. Laura wants you to know that she'll punch you in the face when she shakes your hand. That's what she's going for. I, I, don't, I don't doubt it. <laughs> Do not doubt it. Zoe, so what happened? Because I, I saw that uh, at, at the beginning, Ross shouted you out originally on Twitter, right? Yeah. And then Meek put you on Instagram. Well, Meek put me on Instagram first because that's my homie. Oh, okay, so you have a relationship yeah, yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my dog. Okay, I okay. And then Ross was like, oh, let me tweet this out. This I mean, is Ross, Ross is from my city. Man. And, you know, he see I'm, I'm doing what? He, what was going on for him back in 2006 is uh -huh. happening for me now. So he's a real one. So it's only right that he, you know, he saluted me. You know, he, he opened it. He the one who opened the doors up, you know, for yeah. just like me. I grew up listening to Raw. That's my favorite rapper from back home. Are you Haitian? Yeah. Uh -huh. You better be Haitian with a name like Zoe Dollars. You dig what I'm saying? You bet her be. <laughs> you can't just throw that around loose. Yeah, you can't do that. I, I, didn't know, I didn't know that a Zoe was like a typical a Haitian. So I did name. my research. I uh -huh. even tweeted today. I was like, yo, do you have to be Haitian to be Zoe? And is that a title that anyone can just. And everybody was like, look, if you Haitian to the bone, because yeah, Zoe means to the bone. It right? means bone. Bone, yeah. I mean, okay. they called Haitian Zoes because coming up, the whole story of coming to America, us being so tough, and bones is the only thing that's that tough. So they called us Zoes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could hear somebody call somebody that's American Zo, but it, their name is really Alonzo. It's mm. not Z-O-E, it's mm -hmm. Z-O. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you add that Learn E to me. it, you Haitian. So, yeah, we got some Haitians in the room. They're very yeah. proud of you, sir. <laughs> She's not Haitian. You're not Haitian. You, Scotty Beam, not Haitian. not Haitian. She knows some Haitian people. That's She's as Haitian as she, I am. She's Haitian yeah. by affiliation. Alicia yeah. right here, Pamphile, is Haitian all day. That's what I'm talking Do about. Do you speak so. French? Creole, yeah. Yeah, I speak French, Creole. Yeah. Oh, that's all. Now, can you, do the, can you do the proper French as well as the Creole? Oui. Je you get it, Pamphile. Pam Get it popping. Yeah. Get it all the way popping. Yeah. And yes. um, uh, were you were you born here in America or born in Haiti? I was born here. I was raised in Haiti. Oh, okay. So you were born here, went back, and yeah. came back. Yeah. So that means that uh, your parents uh, worked both in Haiti and here in the United and States here. and were able to move back yeah, and forth. Yeah, back and forth. Got it, got mom, it. Mom, business, big business lady. Oh, really? What is, oh, what's mom into? She she had several businesses, um, bus services, mm. 
boutiques, restaurants. So she was an entrepreneur. She's just moving. She one of them ones. Yeah. And she like, probably, how's mom I, feel about this rap thing? Because not all parents is my, with my this rap thing. Fan. You go on my Instagram, you see Marie Malloy commenting, oh my God, you so handsome. I'm so proud of you. Aww. She putting the emojis. She just made a Twitter just like 15 minutes ago. My Twitter, like, Marie Malloy is on. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> You're better than us because. I blocked my mom. I blocked my mom too. <laughs> I don't block her. When I post something up, she called me, baby, please take that down. I'm um, like, all right, Ma, I got you. Well, the reason we, well, I blocked my mom and you just because I didn't want any of these weirdos. Yeah, 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 no. yeah You know what I mean? Her. Following her. No, you wasn't I mean, talking I'll crazy to my mom. I'll I just lose tell it. her. Okay, I'm not good with that. I tell her, like, yo, listen to me. <laughs> just do me the favor. Just keep it cool. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is she wild? No, because somebody had said something to me. One of my friends playing around. She said, oh my God, you ugly. My mom wrote. <laughs> You B, he didn't want you anyways. <laughs> I had to delete it quick. Like, Mom, that's my whole bad chill. She was just playing. <laughs> oh, she went off. She don't play about me, man. Are you only child? It's you got so brothers good. and sisters? It's me and my sister. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Older, younger sister. My older sister. Got it. She's like a mom to me, too. She raised me. Got it, got you know, it. My mom was always so busy moving around. Miami, Haiti, Miami, Haiti. So my sister basically raised me. And who got you in the rap first? It was just listening to music? Or? Man, my sister, the reason behind it. Because while my mom would take her to work, she worked at the airport for TSA. She used to have all the Hot 97 mixtapes with mm. the freestyles, the G-Units. So, like, I'll steal them from her when she at work. <laughs> and I'll write down the lyrics and make my own lyrics out of that. That's what got me into rapping. Got it. And then my That's mom right. was the first person to pay for my first studio session ever. Really? Yeah. So moms was with it. Wow. From the Cause and, and also, I guess, you know, there's an entrepreneurial spirit in hip hop. So yeah, I think your course. mom probably sees the fact that you're running yeah. your own business right now. Yeah, right now she's like, she's like super happy for me, man. She's probably one of my biggest fans. What happens next? I mean, I'm sure she's be, just can't even handle the fact that you in a video with Diddy, who's an entrepreneur in his own yeah. regard. So you got that, you know, and then Ross, obviously, Meek Mill, mm -hmm. all these people who have built their own businesses, right? Yeah. Um, what's your path? I mean, after this, you I think you have uh, an album out that you put out before all this. I got, I got, this, I got an EP out called an New 90s, and then I just dropped the mixtape in August. That's what Blow Check is on, the original yeah. version. And what, that came out, uh, what, October last year? August 24th. Okay. Yeah, last year. And then are you going to now just stay with this blow a check for a while? Or is there a new project um, coming? I got a new project called Success and Enemies. I'm going to drop it probably in the February. Anybody, any collaborations on it? I got That uh, you can French. tell us about. I got French. I got Fab on there. A um, few more people. Mm -hmm. Anybody you want to get on there uh, that you haven't been able to? I love to get Chris Brown on there. Really, the big one I'm big like R and B ladies joints. Yeah, one of them joints because that's really like my vibe. I'm a big R and B fan. I'm really, barely a hip hop fan. Really? Yeah, I listen to a lot more R and B than I listen to rap. You know? What are you listening to right now? Um, I mean, I'm listening to Chris Brown right now. I listen to his project. That new project's tough. Trey people, songs. Yeah. I still listen to him. When like people think I'm listening to something else, I'm really listening to R and B music. Oh, he's vibing. But that helps your melodies probably in beat selection a lot, right? Because the rhymes. Yes. I know, look, you know, there might be people watching right now thinking you're not official because you made that statement, but most artists that I know that are really MCs, mm -hmm. they're not just sitting around analyzing somebody else's bars. Definitely not. They're trying to come up with music Definitely and then put their own not. bars on it. I listen to a lot of R&B because it's like they have more emotions into their music than the regular rap, especially for this day and age. No, rap is all about trap this, trap that, whip, whip, nah. I try to stay away from that. I try to give people humanly relatable music that, right, right, right. that you could feel me. I mean, blow a check is blow a check. Yeah. When you check out my other music, you be like, no, no, there's people out here relating to that. They blowing yeah, checks. Course, like they get course. there's that one check that comes in every month and that take care of all the bills. <laughs> that gets blown then there's that own. other check that come in that's <laughs> like when that joint come in, that's the party check. Yeah, yeah. Now You're everybody right, can too. relate to that. Yeah, but I mean, I look at it as a positive in a positive way because you got college kids, they could blow checks on books. Yeah. People that go to the gym could blow check on gym supplements and stuff like that, you know? I don't just look at it, oh, let's go blow a check in a strip club. Blow a check on your family. Take everybody out to eat. Yeah. How old are you, bro? 25. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, You got bars? You got bars today? I mean, you're here. You might as well. Oh, you're killing me. I mean, you can yeah. say no and come back later. Yeah. Like, we'll be here. We will be here forever. Yeah. 
Forever sure. and ever and ever and ever. Or you got bars right now. It's up to you. We, we could do some. All right. Go ahead. That's on you, bro. Yeah. Look. Uh, I'm never slipping, boy, the 40 being on reach Won't release, bet your ass take a long sleep Red dot looking like when a bomb beeps Get your head popped, man, you better stay calm, G On a beat, I go off like five drills Try me and get finding ashes like Silent Hill You niggas ain't rapping, you niggas ain't trapping I had my nigga run up on you and straight to clapping Yeah, you niggas ain't really got bars My niggas no police, but we cop cars Yeah, my niggas fuck around and lock jaws Break shit, now nah, niggas don't take shit Dade County run around with 8K Bitch, no bounce, LA, we hit switch. Yeah, niggas know how I'm spittin'. Run around the city with a bitch grippin'. Nigga got bars, nigga got flow. I get money and blow checks, nigga got hoes. Yeah, I stop your ass like a pot hoes. Nigga run up on me, oh, not so. You dig what I'm saying? Zoe Dollars, up the top. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ebro in the morning. Listen, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, bro. Love, appreciate you for having yeah, me. Bro. Little, little, you got a little something for that. Huh? Yeah, something like. 